have you ever thought why rejection is actually good for your mental health? Now, I'm guessing you probably haven't because there's a bit of an out there idea, but this is something I've been thinking about these past few days and the timing could not be more relevant. Hi friends, it's Daz back. Yes, it's been like a million years since I've been on here. Apologies for that. I make kind of nearly daily videos on mental health, personal development, and everything in between there to help you to change your mind, change your life. Before we start, I just want to say that this episode has been quite a challenge to make for a couple of reasons. Firstly, because of the million year gap since my last upload, two, almost three weeks ago. So sorry, no excuses. And even the powerful inspiration of Gemma Stone has not been able to get that energy and that stuff flowing. But also, as I said previously, that the timing could not be more relevant because it was exactly one year ago today that my relationship of seven years was abruptly brought to an end by my fiance of the time. What? Now, I want to make it clear, this is not going to be a woe is me and I'm suffering and it's all terrible and I'm having flashbacks or anything like that. That's not where I'm going with this video. But I just couldn't help but notice the coincidental timing of this and what I'm talking about. I mean, I've planned the video, so it's not really that coincidental really at all. Hmm. Soon after. Okay, so back to the point. If a <laughs> If a relationship ending, which is a good example of a type of rejection, almost always ends up in some devastated situation, like for me, ended up suicidal, how in any way can this be good for your mental health? Uh... Well, basing it on my own personal experience, which is all I really can do, here's my take on this. Having had time to reflect on the situation that happened a year ago, much more objectively in the uh, months that followed, I now truly believe that any rejection in our lives should never come as any kind of surprise. What I mean is that if we're paying attention to every aspect of our life, our relationship or work, everything. If there's something that's not quite working properly or is standing out or something's not gelling, it should be quite clear and obvious that something needs to be addressed, something needs to be changed or worked on. And if these things are not addressed, then the likelihood is some form of rejection. And this also applies if we aren't paying attention to every aspect in our life, because that very nature of not paying attention or not seeing everything as it is, is likely to cause some sort of rejection because subconsciously or consciously, they're not being addressed as you go along. Am I saying that the person who is rejected is always at fault? No. Not at all. What I'm saying is if we had the opportunity to make a change to address something that needed to be fixed or changed and we don't take that opportunity, then the resulting rejection should not come as any surprise. Now let me know in the comments if you've had some sort of unexpected rejection and how you personally handled that. If you want to watch my other episode about what to do when plans change and how you can best handle that, check the link up here. And if you like these videos and want to follow me on my journey, I'll be so grateful for your support by subscribing and hitting that like button. But Daz, this doesn't explain how rejection is awesome or why rejection is good for you. Yeah, you're right. All I've said really is that in many situations, it shouldn't come as a surprise. So therefore, how is rejection good for you? How is it good for your mental health? Uh, I don't know. Again, from experience, whilst the initial effect was <coughs> devastation, what followed after that is something that I could never ever have imagined in a million years. My entire life as I knew it was over, and not only did I feel it rejected, but also betrayed and literally worthless. No sir, I don't like it. But this is where the actual good stuff started to happen. A number of people who weren't really close friends really stepped up and showed their true colors. And it was something that, at the time I didn't realize how much I needed it. You know, I just, I welcomed it and it was a lovely feeling. But that's something that I desperately needed at that point, just to kind of give me something to grip onto. Interestingly, a lot of people that I considered very good friends and even family, nowhere to be seen and never heard from again. Then slowly, as I got my together through a combination of therapy and medication and just really come to terms with everything and just processing the whole situation, I began to see things a lot clearer 
and realized that without what had happened, I never would have been in the position to truly know myself and truly know what I needed for myself in order to become the best person I could be. Because sometimes we can't see, we're not living a life as, as as good as we can be because we're just in the middle of it. We're heads down and we're just getting on with life basically. And from my own personal experience, as I said, I can now see that rejection is actually better than regret. Regret of remaining what I believe to be a perfect relationship, but which actually now looking at it with hindsight was a very, very substandard one. Now my own head in the sand attitude had caused the rejection but the very fact that it happened highlighted to me and helped me to realize that any rejection is good because it ultimately shows us something in our lives that needed to change or needed to have action taken that we were probably unaware of oh yeah and knowing what's good and bad in our lives is really the key to good and positive mental health as we can then address the things that need to be changed in order for us to live a better and more happy and content life. So if you're dealing with rejection or healing rejection wounds, please understand that this is ultimately a good thing. And this is a thing that can really, really help you change your life for the better. Short term, it's a horrible place to be in. I know, and I'm sure you've had that situation yourself, but from a long-term perspective, if you look at things objectively, that rejection has probably highlighted something in your life that you may have been aware of or may not, or may not have wanted to address, but it's, it's forced a situation for you to address that now. And by just tweaking those things that were perhaps not good and not good for you and your mental health, it then allows you to then grow as a person and have a much healthier mental health. I can say healthier mental health. Better mental health, that's the word. But that short-term pain is needed sometimes to get us out of a situation that we were perhaps just going along with, as I said, heads down. And that that jolt that will make us move out of it and realize you know, something needed to change and it forces the hand of the change. Take that information and see what was right, what was wrong, and the things that were wrong, if it was something that you weren't happy with ultimately, then you could change that and make those changes so you're gonna live the better and healthier and happier life. Good, mighty good. So that's it for today. I want to say a huge thank you for all you guys who've kind of stuck with me and keep coming back. I really do apologize for the huge, huge, gap in uploads it's been ridiculous i'm supposed to be nearly every day and it's not been anywhere near every week but i'm back on it i'm definitely back on it and yeah thank you so much for coming along supporting the channel and subscribing i really 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 do appreciate that and said apologies this was not supposed to be a, a kind of a uh, situation but it is weird timing and these last this last week and these last few days have been a bit sort of uh, interesting for me emotionally but it's all good it's all gucci so for now i will say thanks again and see you hopefully tomorrow bye bye thanks again for watching guys i really really do appreciate it if you haven't subscribed already make sure you do so down here and check out my other video down here and remember live your best life see you next time bye bye